find your MLS, tell, call your client on their mobile phone, hey, pull the app up, look at the MLS, call me when you find something, I'll call the schedule of showing, I'll meet you there, use an electronic lockbox and open the door to get in. That's how much technology has changed just in the time I've been involved in this. It is constantly changing. One of the biggest things there on page 127 that you guys are going to want to get when you get started is this thing called an IDX system, the Internet Data Exchange. This allows you to actually post the MLS on your website so that you can start getting people to come to your personal site <coughs> to search the web, to search the MLS. Now, the good thing is it's got disclaimers. It allows for them to opt in and opt out and unsubscribe. All of the new rules that the internet has about unsubscribing and spam and all that. This next section on 127, dude, I really can't even, there's no point in really covering a lot of this because literally it changes. Smartphones, you know, I know a guy that still uses his flip phone. Um, I kid you not, he still has flip phone. Now, all the time we're like, hey, Dave, I'll text you. Oh, wait, never mind. So uh, the only thing I will tell you on page 127, 8, all the way over to 129 is this. You are not an agent under the state's law. Who's the agent? Everybody point. Me. So when you advertise any advertisement, I'm not even going to give you an example because I mean all advertisements. You must disclose that it's me you're advertising for. You got to have the Modulin Group logo everywhere you advertise. Everywhere. Yard signs, radio, Twitter, Facebook account postcards, emails, all of them. That's the thing we're gonna tell you about this section. Makes it real simple. You cannot make it look like you are the managing broker because you are not. You will have your company's name on everything you do until you become your own. Remax, Caldwell Banker, the Modulin Group, whatever, it will be on everything you do. Your Facebook, all of that. There on page 129, see those three bullet points? The advertisement must be true, current representation, the listing of only a sales associate without the sponsoring broker is prohibited. You cannot have like Lashana's website. Let me take that back. You can have that, but on that website, it better say that you are affiliated with the Modulin Group and have the Modulin Group's logo on it. All right. It can you can have a site, Ross Sells Real Estate.com. That's cool. On that website. You got to have the logo for the Modulin Group in your email. Ross Stevenson, the Modulin Group. Here's my phone number and all that. Because he cannot portray to the public that he's the managing broker. On your for sale signs, cannot just say for sale phone number. That's a violation. You got to let them know you're a licensed agent. For sale. Raymond Modulin, phone number, real estate agent, or the Modulin Group. You cannot make it look like it is, you are the managing broker or it's a private party. 
those red for sale signs you see at Walmart or uh, Lowe's that you can get, it just red for sale with the phone number. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those are illegal for us because that looks like a private individual. You have to disclose your license because as a licensed person, you are and have an advanced knowledge in the ninja arts of real estate. And you have to disclose that to a person. Is that your dog back there, Lashana? Yeah. Good puppy. You're like, well, that's stupid. Say hi, Bruno. <laughs> yeah. All right. So under electronic contracting, this is coming. Um, part of it's already here. We are allowed to use electronic signatures now. This is a new thing, new in the last four years because of a lawsuit brought about by American Express that they won, which now allows us to send emails to our client who can electronically sign it and send it back to us under this uniform or this electronic, uh, yeah, the Uniform Electronic Transfer Act, U UETA. Now that signature counts. You can just go and that counts as your signature, all right? So we can sign digitally and the UTA now says you cannot discriminate against a contract because it's electronically signed. Meaning it has the same validity as a regular contract that got and in the business, they call it a wet signature. A wet signature is where you would actually, you know, see the person's signature. That's a wet signature. Now we can electronically, and they have the same power either way. It is, there's another phase of this that's coming that I predict you guys will see in the next 10 years is these things called closing rooms like the chat rooms used to be there will come a day when we close like this where i see sarah's my buyer and i'm here and there's christina she's got the listing and lashana's her client we're gonna all see each other and they're gonna go through and pull up a contract and literally touch the screen and sign it and go, okay, have a good day. You guys all print yours out on your printer. Thank you. And we will be sitting like this. Matter of fact, it is a situation like right now that is driving this technology to do this. And because of this world right now, I'm predicting we just move this clock up within a year or two you will see closings that are done like this because of what happened now. I know mean, they've got problems now with closings at title companies where buyers, we literally had one Tuesday, buyer said, I'm not coming in. You know, I don't want to go out. I don't trust anything. I, I, I'm staying home. I'm not coming out. Well, how do you fault them? when technically we're under a national emergency but yet the contract says they got to close this will be present within a year or two the the ability which the good thing about that is now think about this now we don't have to oh i gotta leave at two o'clock so i gotta close at three on the north side that sucks no i'll just spin around in my chair and log on to this thing here hell with this i'm surprised we aren't using it already now I can stay in Greenwood, closing uh, theoretically Fort Wayne with my client sitting right here. So it's coming, it'll be here. Over on page 130, the last thing of the day. 